Great seeing you back for devotions. Okay, we're coming to the end of the week. Look here, the unwillingness to accept truth. That's what we're seeing in Mark 11. I I love this here, this passage, because it's so true. The religious leaders challenged Jesus' authority. Isn't it amazing? The enemies of Jesus. I talked about the church yesterday. I talked about judgment coming to the church. The religious leaders are the ones who gave him the most trouble. Isn't that amazing? It wasn't the sinners. Now, Mark 11, verse 27. They said, they came again to Jerusalem, and he was walking in the temple, and the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, by what authority are you doing these things, or who gave you this authority to do them? Now, they already know. They have already been told. They're trying to get him tripped up on just saying the right thing that they can charge him uh, with, with, with a, a death uh, thing here. So look, look here with me. Mark 11, verse 29. Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. So notice Jesus loves asking questions. They ask him a question. He throws a question back. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? Answer me. I like it. He goes, who was it? Okay, now Jesus knows what he's doing. The people loved John the Baptist. They loved him. I mean, he was a big hero to them. He's the one who paved the way for Jesus. So look with me here in verse 31. Now, these are the religious leaders there. They say, they discuss it with one another saying, well, from if we say from heaven, notice that they don't care what the truth is. They're trying to make up a lie here. They go, if we say that it's from heaven, he will say, well, why then did you not believe him? But if we say from man, they were afraid of the people, for they all held on that John really was a prophet. So they answered Jesus. So the, 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 the Pharisees here, the religious leaders say, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. Okay, there's so much in there. Okay, first thing I want you to notice. Notice, they know the truth. They don't want to accept the truth. They've already seen his miracles. They already can see that he is divinely empowered by God. They don't care because they don't want to lose their power. They're just thinking about themselves. They don't care what the truth is. Okay, next of all, their concern as religious leaders, what people think. So, you know, it comes to if you're living for God and you're a Christian leader, you're, 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 you're a father of your home, you're the spiritual leader. All we care about is what God thinks, not what other people think. Well, now they're worried about how they answer, how everybody's going to hear them. Okay, this is so anti-God and anti-Christian. The religious leaders were not genuinely interested in the truth, but rather in maintaining their power. And I'm here to tell you, in Jesus' name, this is what's going on in the world today. This is what's going on in America right now. This is what's going on in the average church. All these churches, they don't care what the truth is. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to speak the truth. And we have all these churches. They don't even preach salvation. If you talk to the pastor, he'll tell you he agrees. Then you ask him, well, why are you not giving people an opportunity to be saved? They just want to tell you and everybody else what they want to hear. That's the way most people are. You don't want to be one of those people. Look, Proverbs 16, 18, remember, it's all about power. We want people to like us. We want to fit in. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. I can't tell you how many people I have been with when they were dying. I I think of one man not long ago. I witnessed him for 40 years. He'd been in his church many, 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 many times. Most of his family is a Christian. He would not trust in Jesus. Why? He didn't want to say he was wrong. Pride will send you to hell. Is it very sad? When you refuse to accept an uncomfortable truth, you're choosing to accept an uncomfortable future. Isn't that true? 
Destroy your pride before your pride destroys you.